Welcome back, wealthy people, to a new episode on the Wealth Up channel, where we discuss everything new around Tesla, the Cybertruck, and other EV news. Today, we will take a look at some important details on the Model S Plaid Fire, the car fight for climate change policies, and of course, we have the Tesla video of the day for you later on in the video. Make sure to leave us a like if you're excited, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get into it. More details about Tesla Model S Plaid Fire lead to more questions. There have been more details released about the recent Tesla Model S Plaid Fire, including who owned the vehicle. The information released has led to even more questions. Although I believe we should wait on the results of the investigation, there are some questions that a few Tesla owners and shareholders have taken to Twitter to pose. Before getting into that, here is the latest that we have so far. CNBC reported that when the vehicle caught on fire, the owner was actually behind the wheel. The article included a statement from the owner's attorney and noted that the owner's identity isn't being disclosed. The article also stated that a spokesperson for the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration said that they were aware and in touch with the relevant agencies and Tesla. If data or investigations show a defect or an inherent risk to safety exists, NHTCA will take action as appropriate to protect the public, the spokesperson told CNBC. Reuters reported that the owner of the Plaid Model S was an executive entrepreneur and that he wasn't able to get out of his car. The electronic door system failed and the owner had to use force to push it open, according to the attorneys. Mark Gagaros of Gagaros & Gagaros, the law firm representing the owner, told Reuters it was a harrowing and horrific experience. He added, This is a brand new model. We are doing an investigation. We are calling for the S Plaid to be grounded, not to be on the road until we get to the bottom of this. This is where things get strange. Bloomberg reported that the owner of the Model S Plaid is Bart Smith, who is the head of the digital asset group as Squarehana International. Bloomberg stated that Smith's firm owned around $1.1 billion worth of Tesla shares as of March 31st. Things get a bit interesting here, though. At Whole Mars Blog shared on Twitter that there was a possibility that the global quant trade firm, which does trade Tesla stock, could hedge a short. Kristen K10 shared some more information from Investopedia about Saskahanna Securities. Investopedia noted that the firm owned 60.7 million Tesla shares in 2019 and that it also owned 64.6 .6 million put options and 54.3 call options of Tesla. The fact that the firm has had put options on Tesla has made quite a few supporters suspicious. After considering past events where short sellers have tried to sabotage Tesla in various ways in the past, I don't blame them personally, but I feel the truth always prevails and the truth will come out. This could just be coincidence, and I'm sure that investigators are looking into it. Again, we're not making any claims of wrongdoing, but it's an interesting edge of this case that seems worth keeping an eye on. An example of truth prevailing, the recent driverless Tesla Houston crash. While many were freaking out over the headlines regarding the Houston Tesla crash earlier this year that led to two men dying, the truth eventually prevailed. Constable Herman, who was investigating the Houston crash, declared that he was 100% sure that there was no one in the driver's seat of that Model S, and many media outlets took the story and ran. However, it was later found that the constable officer was already in possession of video evidence that directly contradicted his claims. It was later found that there was a driver and that the constable was spreading some misinformation. The truth prevailed in this case, and I believe it will also prevail here. Although it does seem odd that the head of a firm that has put options on Tesla stock in the past was involved in a fiery crash involving Tesla's newest vehicle, the Model S Plaid, it's also odd that this incident happened just before Tesla's announcement of its record-breaking delivery numbers. However, this could be 100% a coincidence. I think we should all keep open minds about this investigation. I also think we should keep in mind that Smith just lost his vehicle and the Model S Plaid is stunning. To lose it in such a horrific accident is not only sad, but scary. Smith also nearly lost his life, according to the reports. In nearly the same manner that my mother and I did when I was a child, our car exploded and we had mere seconds to get out before it did. 
This is not a time to be bullying or harassing this person, and one should never do that. Let's look at the evidence as it comes in, but hold off from judging until we know the truth about what happened and why. Tesla Model S plaid goes up for grabs in fight for climate change policies. There are many reasons why someone would want to drive the Tesla Model S Plaid. There's the vehicle's supercar beating performance, with its 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 1.99 seconds, its 60 to 130 mile per hour acceleration in 4.71 seconds, and its top speed of 200 miles per hour. The Model S Plaid is equipped to the brim with Tesla's latest tech as well, and highlighted by its wholly revamped interior and custom software. There's no doubt that the Tesla Model S Plaid is one fantastic vehicle, and with its starting price of $129,990, it's definitely a steal for the performance, tech, and features that it offers. There are simply not very many vehicles in the auto industry that could hold a candle to the large four-door legitimate family hauler with literal supercar-beating performance. There are vehicles that can compete with the Model S Plaid, of course, but those cars typically cost several times more. At its price of $130,000, the Model S Plaid is pretty much a class of one. Our friends at the Chesapeake Climate Action Network CCAN, Action Fund continue to make remarkable progress in public climate change policies at the local, state and national levels, thanks to the help of its supporters through fundraising efforts. Fighting such a battle takes resources, which is one of the reasons why the CCAN Action Fund is currently looking to raise funds through its Tesla Model S Plaid raffle. Though the raffle is capped at 4,500 tickets, CCAN is committed to raffling the Model S Plaid regardless of the number of tickets sold, which gives raffle participants one of the best odds of taking home Tesla's best production car to date. Similar to the CCAN Action Fund Model Y raffle last year, the Tesla Model S Plaid raffle does not only include the vehicle itself. The fund would also be covering federal tax on the car, which pretty much makes the grand prize of this year's raffle worth about $161,982.62. All in all, this ensures an utterly worry-free experience for the lucky winner of this year's climate raffle. The raffle will be closing at 4.30pm EST on August 17th, 2021, and the official drawing of the Tesla Model S Plaid's official winner is set to take place at 4.54pm EST on the same day. Make a difference, support CCAN Action Fund fight for more climate change policies, and enter in an amazing chance to take home a Tesla Model S Plaid. Alright guys, it's time for the video of the day. Let's take a look. How was that for a video? Let us know what you think about it in the comment section below. Would you like to have your video on here? Then leave us a mail in the address in the description. And that would be it for today. What do you think of the Tesla Model S Plaid Fire and the details we discussed? Make sure to let us know in the comment section below. Also, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This video is brought to you by Neil Glasgow and as always, see you next time wealthy people.